Today in this video, we are going to take a look at something seriously next level. So if you have ever wished your AI coding assistant could just take over, like plan the work, write the code, verify it, all without you babysitting every step, then stick around because what I'm about to show you might just change your workflow forever. Meet Tracer AI, the tool built as the most advanced AI coding assistant that actually works on large code bases. And what really caught my eye is one feature called as the YOLO mode, that is you only look once. And that's where we are going to zoom in on today. So imagine this, you define your task, configure your agent and hand off once and then Tracer automates the entire phases workflow like planning, coding, testing, verifications, the lot without you needing to jump in. So it's an interesting new feature right within Tracer AI and today in this video, let's go ahead and explore Tracer and the new YOLO mode. So let's quickly get started. So here I have opened up the official website of Tracer AI and if you do want to start using Tracer AI, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to tracer.ai, sign up for a new account and after that you can click on this particular button that says install tracer for free and then you can go ahead and add the extension to cursor, vs code, windsurf or github. So whatever be that tool that you're already using, well tracer supports almost all of them. And again in the website it says wipe code with confidence, the most advanced AI coding assistant that actually works on large code bases. And again, getting started is pretty simple and straightforward. First of all, go ahead and sign up for a new account. And after that, you can click on this install button. For example, let's say in this video, I'm planning to use cursor. So I'll click on this install tracer button right within cursor and it opens up a pop-up and I can click on open cursor. And there you go. In my case, I have already installed tracer. Just go ahead and install the same. And now here I have opened up the documentation page of tracer AI. And this right here is the page for YOLO mode. And as you can see, YOLO mode, that is you only look once, automates your entire faces workflow. So configure your agents and handoff settings once, then let Tracer automatically orchestrate planning, coding, verifications across multiple faces without manual intervention. So the idea here is that you can go ahead and start with a simple prompt and Tracer itself will actually do pretty much every heavy lifting for you. For example, it will go ahead and do the planning process, coding process, verification process, and then it will keep looping and you know, reiterate the same thing until all the faces is complete and you'll have your working version of the app ready. So that is basically YOLO mode is all about. In which case, I'll show you it in action so you'll have a good time understanding what exactly it is. So here I have opened up cursor and here I have opened up a blank project. And now since I have already installed tracer extension, I can open it up. There you go. It is what can I help you build today. And here we have three options. So the first one is faces, then plan and then review. And since our intention is to try out the new YOLO mode, I'll put it in the faces mode. And as you can see, it says start with the conversation to clarify intent, then break the task into manageable phases. And one thing that I like a lot about Tracer AI is that, let's say I want to build an app. Well, I can go ahead and start with a prompt and enter that in here, click send. And right after that, Tracer will go ahead and ask me a couple of questions, like follow-up questions, and I can give the answer. And once Tracer have everything it needs, it will go ahead and create a comprehensive plan and also all the phases, which I'll show you in a bit. So just for demonstration purpose, let's say I want to create a web app. So basically I want to create a PDF management web app. So basically the user should be allowed to upload multiple PDF files and our app gives the option to merge them together. And we also need another tool within our app. And the functionality of that tool is to split certain pages from a PDF file. For example, let's say we have, let's say 10 pages long PDF file. Well, the user should be able to upload the same to our platform and then specify a couple of pages or let's say any number of pages and trim it and download the PDF. So that is basically the core functionality of the app that I want to build. So in this case, what I'm going to do is that I'll keep it in the faces mode and now I can describe the task in here. And again, if you want to specify any files or something, well, you can put the address simple and you can select files folders. Again, you have options for that too. And by the way, this right here is a fresh Next.js installation. So I just went ahead and installed Next.js and that's everything that I did. And now I can go ahead and give a prompt. So this right here is the initial prompt I'll begin with. And it says, I want to create a web app that allows people to upload multiple PDF files and merge them into one and then download the merged PDF file, of course. And we also need another tool where the user should be able to upload multi-page PDF file and specify a page range. And we should be able to split that particular page range and download it as well. So this right here is the prompt I'll begin with. Now in your case, whatever be that you want to build, well, all you have to do is to give a prompt in here. And yet another cool thing is that you can not only start building a new project with Tracer, but if you have been already working on a project, well, you can actually go ahead and start using Tracer in those projects as well, all right? And now I'll click on the send button right here. 
All right, so as you can see, Tracer has started working on the project already and it is currently exploring the top PDF libraries for Next.js. Since it is a Next.js based project, of course, it is finding the best uh, PDF library to use. In which case, let's wait for it. And there you go. It says, I explored the code base and found this is a fresh Next.js 16 project with React 19, TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. And the project currently has a basic starter page with no PDF functionality implemented yet. Exactly. And the task requires two main features. Of course, the first one is a PDF merge tool and the second is a PDF split tool, right? Exactly. And given this is a Next.js app, I'll structure the implementation with separate pages and routes for each tool, reusable components and the API routes if needed for server side processing. All right. And now if I further scroll down, this is where things get interesting. As you can see here, we can find all the faces that Tracer AI has already uh, created. And if I click on this shop breakdown option, I'll be able to get a detailed view into it. So here we have around four of them. So first one is setting up the PDF manipulation library and project structure. So basically it is planning to use the PDF lib package for PDF manipulation. And second, it will implement the PDF merge functionality with upload and download, then implement PDF split functionality with page range selection. And then it will also add navigation and improve landing page UX as well. And if you want to add any new faces, well, you can click on this plus button right here and add a new face. You can go ahead and give a new prompt and add a face to the existing uh, face breakdown right here. Or if you want to, let's say, only execute a selected bunch of, let's say, faces, well, you can select this option right here that says selection mode and you can select the ones that you want to execute. But in this case, we are actually going to go YOLO. So towards the top, this is where things get interesting. We can find an option that says YOLO mode. And now I'll click on the same. And now it says start YOLO. So as you can see, here we can find all the faces that is already planned. And towards the bottom, I can now find the agent that it is planning to use. And if I click on this settings option right here, I can now select and configure the AI agent that I want to use for both planning and verification processes, as you can see in here. So right now it is Cloud Code CLI. And if you want to, you can configure it to use Gemini CLI or Codex CLI. So depending on your preference, you can select, for example, for plan, you can select Cloud Code and maybe for verification, you can try, let's say Gemini or Codex. So the, basically that is how it works. And once you start YOLO mode, what happens is that the AI agent will go ahead and plan everything out, do the implementation part and then verify everything to make sure that everything actually works. And then it jumps on to the next phase and go through the same process again. And it keeps repeating until every phases are complete and our app should be ready. So that is basically the flow. And you can actually click on the start YOLO button right here and sit back and relax and the AI will do pretty much everything for you. So that's the cool thing about Tracer AI's new YOLO mode. And again, if you want to, you can actually go ahead and scroll through and find all the description, all the faces, and you still have options to make any changes if you want to. And now I'm sort of good to go. So I'll go ahead and click on the start YOLO button right here. And there you go. As you can see, Tracer is currently working on the first phase and it is currently planning. All right, so let's wait for it. So the steps that it is going to do is install PDF lib package, then create folder structure, then create components directory for shared UI components. All right, so looks good. All right, so as you can see, planning has changed to awaiting execution and Tracer itself went ahead and opened up the Claude interface right here. Since we selected Claude, it is using Claude and it is currently doing everything for us. So as you can see, it has went ahead and installed a couple of packages, created a couple of files and also wrote all this code. And currently it is working on the first phase right here. And after it's done, it will go ahead and go through a verification process to make sure that everything actually works and looks good. And once that's complete, it will go ahead and jump to the second one right here. That is the second phase and then repeat the same process and it will keep looping until the entire phases are complete, right? Since we selected Cloud CLI as the agent that we want to use, as you can see, it is now using Cloud code. And now all you have to do is to sit back and relax. Now, the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that make sure that you don't sleep your computer since the action is happening locally within your computer. If the network goes down or let's say if you sleep your computer, the action will be interrupted. And now you can sit back and relax, or do something or even minimize this window and Tracer will keep working on the same. So there you go. As you can see, phase one is almost complete and currently it is in the verification process. So it will go ahead and verify all the changes and all the code changes and pretty much everything that the AI agent has done and will make sure that everything actually works and is done the way it should be. And if everything is good to go, then it will go ahead and jump to the second task and it will keep going on like that. So currently it is in the verifying process and again it will take some time for the AI agent to complete everything and again it says the PDF manipulation web foundation is now set with working merge and split functionality at slash merge and slash split roots respectively and there you go 
it seems like the phase one is already completed so verification is completed and right now we are in the phase two and currently phase two is in planning mode and now it will go to the execution mode and do all the code changes and everything else and then it will go to verification mode and it will complete that and now i'll wait for the ai to complete all these phases and i'll see you afterwards all right so there you go all the phases are now complete and even the verification process is complete and since we used yolo mode tracer itself went ahead and did everything and it seems like we now have a working version of the app so these were all the phases that we had and pretty much all of them are completed and if you want to find more information related to each phases you can click on them and you can find all of that in here as well okay and here we can also find all the sub agents that tracer spinned up to create our app in which case now let's just go ahead and try to start the dev server and let's try using it all right so our app is running in localhost 3000 so let's try okay there you go here we have simple pdf tools and the tool tools that we asked for that is merge and split so first of all we'll try to use the merge one so it is asking us to upload or drag and drop pdfs in here so let me select let's say okay i have downloaded like two sample pdfs so i'll just add both of them okay so both of them are added and as soon as i click on merge pdfs it's instantly downloaded and okay so both of them are combined together so it actually works so the merge pdf tool is working and next step we'll go ahead and try to use the split tool so i'll just okay we can maybe upload the one that we uh, download right now and as you can see in total we have four pages and as specified in the prompt that we given earlier the user should be given the option to specify the start page and end page like a page range so in this case let's just say i want the start page to be two and the end page to be four okay so that's basically how i want it and now i can click on download split pdf there you go all right okay so that feature is also working so this is how simple it is and this is how you use tracer ai's new yolo mode so basically i just went ahead and gave a prompt and tracer itself did pretty much everything for me i just went ahead and gave a prompt and tracer itself went ahead and created a plan then wrote all the code did the execution part and even verified everything to make sure that it actually works as you can see for every phases it says verification completed and next up let's just say you want to add any new additional features or make any changes or do something as such well you can initiate a new conversation and again you can put it in phases mode plan mode or review mode for example let's say phases mode and let's just say i want to add a new about page or let's say any new features or let's say i want to add even more pdf tools well i can simply go ahead and give a prompt in here hit enter and the AI will gladly do it for me and this is how simple it is to use tracer and more specifically the new yolo mode so definitely make sure to check out tracer ai and its new yolo mode by clicking the link in the description below and yeah also make sure to make use of the seven days free trial as well and now i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one